What is up, everybody? This is Recap Rewind. I am JLag, and I'm here with... Envy! And welcome to this oh very special... Long-awaited... Long-awaited... Forever ago, <laughs> Game of Thrones... Season 7, seven. episode oh. 1. What's it called? I don't even know. Oh, God. It's like, I don't know, probably like homecoming. So it's <laughs> Sunday, July 16th. Okay, guys? Yeah, we're just... We have now been over a year since over the last year. season has yeah. aired... And it's been absolutely like torture. I'm torture. so glad that it's like finally here. I um, actually don't even have an episode name. Oh gosh, <laughs> my app never even updated. It's just like I, I don't know, know that they're really <laughs> tight with their episode titles this season and oh. their synopsis. So it's it's. Uh, let me just try googling it real quick. Yeah. So just to like, as MB's looking for that, I just want to kind of cap off it. So this season, from what we know of it, before we go into it. Um, it's going to be a shorter season. It's going to be only be seven episodes long. And the episodes were supposed to be, like, longer, but this episode was exactly an hour long. So, I... That was a lie. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Um, but yeah, it was a premiere. That's all I can really say about that. MB, anything to say? Anything to add? I think it's called Dragonstone. Oh. But we will confirm in our episode title. Sure. Anyway, season seven, episode one. Season seven, Game of Thrones. episode one. Like, this is like crazy. This is it. This is it. We're going to the final series seasons. Like, this is the final season is going to be split into two. Yeah, it's Dragonstone. Um, and it's called Dragonstone. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> um, so it starts off with like a pre prelude to the uh, like intro sequence. Right. Uh, which we've seen a few times last season. This time it's with Walder Frey um, kind of starting off the whole the whole scene. Right? Yeah. And uh, They usually start with the title sequence. Exactly. And they didn't start with that. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like this is like maybe the second or third time that it's happened. <laughs> yeah. So they just got series. right into the episode. Yeah. And it was the scene with uh, Walder Frey and he's like talking to like all his squad. Yeah. And he's like, yo, like turn up. Like we got like, let's get lit. Like we like, <laughs> he's like, we did some amazing things. Up. Yeah. But then like it kind of changes to like, he's like, take a sip of like your like drinks. Yeah. So like they do. Yeah. And then he goes real talk though like you guys like did killed some like everybody. effed up stuff yeah you guys killed like all these like, the family that you invited into your home yeah you went against like that rule yeah. and like you like you know slash their throats whatever whatever and then they all start like choking they start like blood. sketching out they're like uh and then like blood starts like pouring out of their mouths yeah and then by that point i was like okay like jay like i'm like i think it's yeah. her in him obviously at that point in time like, it's yeah. Arya inside of Exactly. Walter Frey. I think for the entire time I was like, okay, this isn't obviously, obviously like a past yeah, yeah. This is like after. happening. And then they all like kind of they all die basically. Yeah. And then she takes off her like mask, mask and off. it's Arya. Yeah. And she turns to like the the one of the wives, I guess, or whatever, and she's like, if so when someone asks you what happened here, like tell them like the North like remembers, came, remembers. Like, and winter came for the house fray. Yeah. And, and that's we're what like, she says. oh yeah. She, and then, like, she like walks, walks off like a boss She's like beat. smiling, whatever, and then the the opening sequence. Yeah, starts. like da na 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 na. Copyright intended. Um. So yeah, and then it goes to the wall right away. Right away. And because it shows a sequence really quickly with um, the White Walkers walking yes. through like smoke, and yeah. like you can see them kind of coming. And then it cuts really to... like really dragged out scenes though, eh? Like even that, yeah. there was like a ten minute freaking zoom in. Totally. And then like the fog rolls up, and then they show the White Walkers. I'm like, guys, so before why we are you get... wasting minutes right now? Before we get into the entire episode, Ugh. do you kind of want to talk about like the overarching feel of the entire this entire season? Let's season get through premiere? the main. Let's get through it because then I want to pinpoint which parts really annoyed oh, okay. me. Okay. Okay. Because there was a lot in this episode, guys, that I was like, Not number one, it. really shocked that yeah. that Game of Thrones went to this. They've never been cheesy in any way. Yeah, they've never been too expositional. Like, yeah, like they have, but like this one was a lot. This felt like an off. And I was like, guys, what are you doing right now? Like, you're trying to beat us over the head with like this information. Yeah. Like, it's not feeling like. Anyways, Natural. let's let's get through it and we'll we'll tell you those scenes that we thought like right. it kind of felt awkward. So yeah, so <laughs> it shows uh, Bran kind of seeing this premonition of the White Walker coming through, yeah. and then it shows him right in front of the wall, and the wall gates are going up. Yeah, and they're like, "Who are you?" And it's that chick, and she's like, "Hey, I'm this girl," 
And then she's like, this is Bran Stark, the whatever son of Ned yeah. Stark. And Anyways, they're like, whatever, they cool, go like, in, come they in go and we in, believe you cool. that you're like Ned Stark's son, come, come through. Because he's like, they're coming now. And yeah, so then it cuts to Winterfell and John is essentially planning like the whole war situation. Yeah. And he has like Sansa on the side yeah. and she's like listening or whatever. And she's trying to, they're trying to decide like who's going to fight. In this yeah, war. well, he's basically saying he's like, we have to fight with AR numbers, yeah. so everyone's going to be fighting right now, like, girls and boys, to try to find Dragon Glass. It's not really about, like, the fight. It's about, like, sort of, like, putting in that, like, time and effort right. into, like, getting a weapons. Because yeah. they're like, you can't fight but with But also, swords. like, they need to train, like, all True. these, like, old people and then children, and then they talk yeah. about, like, women. So he's taking and... from a different angle, though, obviously, right? right? So then, There yeah. was, like, a girl power moment in that, yeah. where, like, Lady Mormont, or is it Lady Mormont? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Or I forget her name. Yeah, I think you're right. And she, uh, she basically the stands up and she's like, I'm here to fight too. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm a woman or not. All girls are going to come through for us too. So we're going to get everybody, like, to, yeah. to train. And so then there's a little bit of a tiff that happens between Sansa and Jon because Sansa uh, basically says that the Umbers and the Castarks were the ones who went against like, uh, Jon John, yeah. uh, during the rebellion. And now that the sons died during that battle... Um, the the line goes now to like to the, their the kids. young the younger kids. So all that whole generation from before is gone. Is gone. So now you got like fresh that fresh generation coming. Fresh in. generation. So Sansa's take on it was, you need to reward like the people who were on your side yeah, with, with these that castles, land. like with, yeah. with that land. And then John is like, "What's done is done." Hit the families like yeah. He got know, like cheese at her though. He, he got was, like, cheese. There was like a like, power to sit down right now. Ruggle and yeah. Essentially, he's like, my word is law. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to pass this on to the children. He's like, I don't want to ever... And I guess in a sense, he's right too. Like, yeah. he's like, I don't want to take away their home. Like, how did that you was feel, their home. Like, still. how did you feel? Like, who did you kind of side with? Did you, did you understand, like, both sides? You know what? Or? In that initial moment, I'm like, yes, Santa, yes. But then I'm like, no, like, John's right. <laughs> like, he, like, like, you can't always be... And then it's interesting because that thing happens after. But we'll talk about that, but... You can't always be so, so like savage too, right? Like what he's saying is true. Like it's that next generation. Like sure. they didn't, they weren't their fathers or their uncles or whatever. So like, like it's fair for them to keep their land still and see if they can like, you know, like redeem themselves, right? Because right? they did pledge their allegiance to John. They're like, no, we want to be with you now. Like, and it was very interesting. And I'm sure this was on purpose that the young woman from like the, the cast the other Starks, family, yeah. or the Umbers, one of them. She had, like, red hair like Sansa, yeah. and one of them was, like, a young boy that kind of resembled John. So, it's almost like these two families, like, they're these young kids who are kind of coming into this war yeah. at the same age or even younger than, you know, these two guys are now. And, like, they're making decisions for their future. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. And because later on... So, that Sa- happens. Yeah, but Sansa then, makes like- a really good point. Later on, like, they're talking... They have this like little tiff after he makes that decision, yes. and she he's like, "Why do you like go after me? Like, why yeah. like we're supposed to be like united? Yeah. Like, you can't be like showing that you're like d- like disagreeing with yeah. me." And she basically says like, "You need to be smarter than father, and you need to be smarter than Rob because they both yeah. fucking died like, they up. by yeah. being like noble people." And then like, but he says a really good point because he brings in Cersei. He's like, like he's she because she's telling him she goes, you need to start focusing on the south. Like forget the north. Like the like the White Walkers. Like she's gonna come. Cersei's gonna come and try to kill you. Like yeah. for sure. Yeah. When she wants to get revenge or or she wants to get rid of you, come she you. will come through. Yeah. And then he's like, no, no, don't worry. Like don't worry. She's like, no, I know her. And then he was like, okay, but it sounds like you're like kind of admiring her, obviously too. Like you're feeling some type of way about her. Yeah. And sounds like maybe I am. So that she even too, like yeah. that, like hearing something say to, about that family, like, f- like F them, like let someone else get their house. It was such a like rigid, like response. And right. it's so like, I can see like Sansa turning, turning, turning well, up in a really like far extreme way. Yeah. Well, we know that Sansa has <clears throat> gone through she's, some oh, and shit. She, she's right? always been like that, like bitch. Like she's a bitch. Like, yeah. She's always been the bitch. But also I feel like she's been scorned so many times, like in her like life thus far yeah that she's learning to like build this armor a- around her where she like doesn't trust anybody i think if Littlefinger and sansa ever teamed up like full out full like out power couple up. yeah it'd be really dangerous super dangerous, dangerous. yeah that could be like, like a fire super within. lethal too yeah. like yeah. yeah it could be bad um it could definitely be bad anyway we'll go back to winterfell in a minute yeah unless you want to keep going because it kind of jumps back yeah. and forth do you want to finish yeah, on winterfell? Going, yeah so in winterfell as well 
um, like Littlefinger has a conversation with Sansa and he's like, how are you feeling? What's going on? What's the tea? And she's like, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. And he's like, I want you just to be happy. So to your point, it'd be very interesting to see if like he comes through without her even like, like just choosing, like he does something for her. Without, he's already like, done something for her, though. He, right. He, he already has. He's shown up with that army. It's true. Saved all of them. True. And then after, what's her face? Brienne comes through to, like, Sansa, and she's like, what's his deal, whatever. She's like, he wants something. And Sansa's and I know like, what yeah, he wants. I know what he wants. Yeah. So he's waiting for her to sort of, like, for it to click in Sansa. Yeah. And I feel like it's going to happen soon. I feel like she's going to separate herself from Jon. Yeah. And I feel like Peter's going to be her way out. Way and out that's to dangerous. What, though? Like, I don't know their where? own mission, their Some own thing. Maybe he's gonna set themselves for something else. Like you, you can't. Scary. This guy's no like idea. high key. Like he's very low key. True. On a mish. Yeah, definitely. You definitely. know. Yeah. For so we Arya. cut to King's Landing. Yeah. And uh, we see like Cersei, and this guy's like painting on the floor, like the the huge the map whole mural of Westeros. And it's so funny because I was. I tweeted about that through our, like, recap underscore rewind, like, Twitter. Like, when we, the trailer had come out, I was like, real talk, though? Like, where did she get this map from? Like, it just came out of oh, nowhere. okay, okay. I was like, when did she have time to, like, pull out a full life-size like, map of yeah, the entire place? Yeah, it's sick, place? though. It looks sick. It looks cool, but yeah, I'm like, yeah. why hasn't this been here this whole time? Yeah. I'm like, so, now like, we need to she's know like, where like, She's like, on, um, like, the map, whatever the guy's like, painting. Like, and then Jamie comes <laughs> through. Enemies from the north. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Jamie comes through. He's like, girl, like, what's going on with you right now? Like, you're freaking crazy. Yeah. She's like, no, we're going to take over. We're going to get enemies to the north, to the south, <laughs> the east, the east. He's like, girl, he's like, you cannot fight if it's winter and there's no food for our army. Like, you need, like, the Tyrells to, like, give you livestock. Right. And like, nah, nah. She's like, don't worry. She's like. I got you. She's like. You think I didn't learn from our father? I was like, here, this bitch goes. Like, yeah. she's, it's gonna like. But bang. before that whole situation, he makes a very good point to her. He's like, "What are you fighting for now?" Yeah, like, which is what exactly is what I keep asking this girl in my head. I'm like, like, so say your kids are all dead. Yeah, you have no like next of kin. Yeah, your your father's gone. Like, it's like, what's There's the no what point. are you doing right now? And like, then just she's, go live your she's life. like delusionally like, it's for us. We're doing it for us. Yeah, then. we're like building a dynasty for us. And he's just like, Before why? What? Like, why am I here right now? Yeah, I'm here because I love the shit out of you. That's the only reason why I'm here. Yeah. And so yeah, she does like reveal her like master plan. Yeah. She's like, I have a plan. Mm-hmm. Then again, it cuts to like this dumbass scene of the water front, like the yeah. like the horizon, and there's like boats like coming through. Yeah. And then right away we're like, we guess it. We're like, okay, it must be like the Greyjoys, the Greyjoys. like uncle Eon yeah. or whatever his name is. Or yeah, I forgot his name. And then Just the U. and then like she's like, ha, 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 ha. He, he wants a bride. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. This is really stupid. Like it was really yeah. dumb. It was like trying to t- explain to me everything that's happening in this moment. Then it cuts back to the throne room, and yeah. he walks in, and he. He's like all cocky and like trying to sell himself to her. Yeah. Like he's like, I got you. Like we can fight together. And then he's like, be my wife. And she's like, nah. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell was the point of this twenty minute scene? And what was the point of him like reaching like all reaching the way with his whole army? <laughs> even Jamie was like, you invited the whole crew. And she goes, yeah. Like why not? <laughs> like, like even Jamie's like, bro, you're so extra. You're wasting like money. <laughs> It's so much time in this episode. He's like, you're taking away too much time from this episode. Yeah, and then so she's like, she's like, no, I'm not gonna marry you. She's like, I don't trust you. Yeah, I was like, girl, how can you (laughs) trust? Why would you invite him if you don't trust him? And then he's like, true, true. He's like, I'm gonna do something for you, and then you're like, brb. You're like, yeah. That's essentially what he says. And then he dips. So there was literally no point. I feel like that could have been all in one friggin' letter or something, like a raven or something. (laughs) You like be like, hey girl, I'm gonna come through once I kill someone for you. Like that. So that's what you think that's gonna happen, right? Yeah, I think I feel like he's gonna he wants to kill someone. Who do you think it might be? Sansa. Mm. or Jon Snow maybe she's like that murderous whore yeah like I feel like he's gonna come back with someone's head kind of thing right true that's fair and then she'll be like okay I'm not to marry mm-hmm. you like maybe he's gonna <sighs> go for Littlefinger who knows yeah that's true I can see that kind of like resolving stuff or maybe the people in, the, in Dorne cause that's like a waste situation too Oh, yeah. Or true. the Tyrells. Like, whatever. Like, yeah. kill somebody. I mean, they have yeah, so many. I think he's going to. At like, this point in time, they have so many enemies. Like, he can basically just, like, close his eyes, exactly. choose one, the and whole then come thing back. Is, the whole freaking map is their enemy. Like, yeah. this girl's, like, delusional. <laughs> so ridiculous. 
so See, i'm a still window yeah Jamie's and then like, james oh. like uh we're kind of fucked so not really um so he dips but that was a really weird to- scene too just because of like the way it was broken down yeah i was being fed information i was like okay guys i, I it's get enough. it like i get, I get it. it you just wasted like 20 minutes though like it like <laughs> it didn't have to be this long no not at all the entire episode could have been like 10 minutes yeah long. it was like, very it was very it was honestly one of the few maybe i can count on my finger episodes that i was like waiting for like it to be done yeah i was like okay is it done now yeah like i'm ready to like record a podcast i was <laughs> like, <laughs> like i'm like, ready on it. yeah because like sure. it just yeah so then it cuts to sam and he has like the most like Wor- like the worst we were, we were dying like, of montage laughter. Ever. i've never cracked up so hard though like, in game so of thrones random. so yeah it kind of shows his like daily life uh, at the citadel and essentially he's um feeding people like cleaning up the shit pots and then like putting away books like that's essentially his entire day and it keeps showing this montage of him like wanting to yak just the loop the ball. yeah like it was like this loop 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 and it was like yeah it was pretty comical it was really gross like you don't know like what's soup and what's like poo it was just like nasty it was like a really weird scene to see but i, I guess it just shows his like repetitiveness and then it's just his like job, his yeah. his like desire to like get through this like locked restricted yeah. door area <laughs> it's like restricted area it's so in stupid. the library yeah. so and i'm like okay obviously all the white walker like, books are over there yeah and then like that's his kind of mish for like the entire episode yeah which so, was really cheesy it too. was so okay so then he goes and talks to like this next like guy he's like the arch maester yeah. which is like the biggest maester i yeah. guess and he's like helping him with like some anatomy project or whatever yeah and he's like do you mind if i just like get up in this re- restriction section and the guy's like he's i like, believe you are you a maester and he's like no he's like okay then so can't. then why yeah. <laughs> he's like you're not getting in there and he basically says like i believe that you saw the white walkers but like the wall's the wall, and it's going to protect us, yeah. so, like, don't, don't even worry, worry about yeah, yeah. it. He's like, winter has come enough times, yeah. and the wall is still there, so, like, don't worry. Yeah, exactly. How is nobody freaking worried? I have no like, idea. what's going on? I guess you have to see it with your own eyes, you know? Like, they've no, seen No, I think, them. you know what they're trying to say? Well, this is what's so cool about Game of Thrones. It's, like, a whole generational thing, too. It's all mm. these old patriarchal like society or yeah. like these groups of men or whatever yeah. who are like no this is how it's been for the last 800 years no 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 we're good we're good we're this good, is we're how good. it's gonna be forever you know, like this next generation of young people are like wait a minute guys like we have to like like save do ourselves something. do something yeah. like, change the way we've Before been it gets acting worse. exactly it's so true to who, who we are in yeah. the world but like yeah so it sounds like no bro like it's gonna happen <laughs> nah bro yeah and so like at night he like sneaks away and like steals the key and I'm then like, he really, like, Sam, you waited this long for to do that? And then he like, yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, you like did like a 5,000 year loop of like picking up shit yeah, and you never and thought now, to steal someone's keys. Yeah. It didn't make so any then, sense. So then like, then he goes and steals like a f- couple books. And like, then he starts like books. reading. He's like, down. He's like, I'm, I'm like, down to read sweet, this. Sweet, now I'm going to read them with like my girl. So that's yeah. what he ends up doing. Whatever. That's like the science situation. It cuts now to, oh, it cuts to Winterfell and that whole like, yeah. a little finger thing happens. And then um, it cuts to Ed Sheeran singing a song in the middle of the fucking okay, let's woods. Just, let's just break this this scene because this is like a really weird scene. What was and this? And so basically the scene cuts to like Arya like kind of strolling through the, the woods. Yeah. And you hear like this really nice voice like yeah. playing like singing. And literally like I'm with like, J-Lag and I'm like uh, guys like I was like legit like Swear. just like oh this is a cute song. Like it's like Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And, and it's not so even funny. a second after I said that. His freaking ugly ass hair like shows in the screen, <laughs> and we look at each other. We're like, I'm "What like, the uh, hell?" I was we're like, like what? "You're like what?" I'm like, "That's not Ed Sheeran." You're like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> he is singing right now in Game of Thrones around a campfire. It was so weird, guys. What the hell is what going happened? on? Like, this is season seven, Game of Thrones. This shit ain't no joke. Yes. Like this is like guys like. This is, like, real stuff. This I was is like, you can't have Ed Sheeran in your episode. <laughs> and, and then he just stopped ep- singing. Yeah, and then, and then the- as soon as she rolled up, he stopped. He was like, hey, welcome to this squad. She's like, cool. And he didn't even talk for the rest of the t- yeah. friggin 30 minutes. He like, was basically the person in between her and some other guy who was, like, hitting on her. <laughs> and, like, giving her food and, like, alcohol and stuff. And, like, Ed Sheeran just kept passing it back and forth. Yeah. Like, like it was so... <laughs> and then his dumb ass hair is, like, in my screen, in the frame... Um, like so i had to constantly remind that ed sheeran is ed in the scene in right the now frame. it was so ridiculous so out of place and game of thrones has never done this they've never hired even like an a-list like crazy famous actor yeah. to play like like they they haven't 
they're not about that like i mean they flashy. do it sometimes they, they do it but it's not like flashy where you're like yo like like brad pitt was in this episode no yeah, like they exactly. don't do that <laughs> like ed sheeran it was so it was random so stupid it was, like where did that come and like, it took uh, away from that moment like totally i love Arya scenes and like i was just like i couldn't yeah think, I, I couldn't stop no. feeling like bro his hair is in my frame right now <laughs> I'm like, Ed Sheeran is legit. Legit. They casted Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran legit, this guy, is like, in Game of Thrones. He's in Game of like, Thrones. That like, is for the, the rest of his life, line. he has a credit for Game of Thrones. Yeah. I saw it at the credits later. Oh, and, my like, God. His name popped up. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't even remember. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> we, we were, like, shaking our heads the whole time. I was like, what is this? You're totally right. Like, they never did this before. I get that he's got a good voice. I get he's, no, like, it, Irish it or whatever. So and, like, irrelevant. they've been shooting in no. Ireland. But why? No, it was so yeah. irrelevant. He, he sang for 10 seconds. And yes. You could have chosen any person to just sing a little yeah. bit. And then, and, okay, fine. If you want to sing, but, like, put him in, like, the back corner as, like, an, a second extra yeah, they, or third legit, extra. Yeah, put him in the middle of the two main speakers. <laughs> yeah. And he's just <laughs> looking back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> So, like he didn't even eat the food i don't think yeah he's, like, to Arya. he's like here don't i don't want to drink anything like what the f- what are you doing here it was so yeah extra. it was so stupid i'm people yeah, are gonna rip on it so totally. hard a little and i really guys. like my soul hurts that i'm like i bet you somebody forced them to cast him in it yeah. like it, it seems like one of those where like the studio was like ed sheeran's like on location you guys better put him on the on right. in the episode like it's ridiculous yeah and it was super because like at the same time like they like like i said like they put him at the forefront they didn't put him in the yeah. back like he didn't sing the song and like dip he like sang the song and like sat in the middle of and the he sat scene. there yeah yeah so like you paid him to like be there and it's just stupid i don't know it just made me really yeah forget paid frustrated. it was just dumb that they even chose like he was yeah in it. like why are you here it takes you out of the entire scene because this the point of that scene which is like now i'm trying to remember yeah, i don't remember what happened aria is talking to the it's like a lannister crew and they're like what are you doing and oh it is like, a lannister crew yeah because they're wearing like the red oh, coats true, or true. whatever and they're like there's like shit going down in like the fray place oh, so, like right, we're right. in that area to patrol um and then aria is like they're like what are you gonna do in king's landing and she's like i'm gonna kill the queen and then they start laughing and then that's the end of the scene yeah like Anyway, yeah, we'll get to the end of the episode yeah, because, like, dumb. that's it. So, okay, so back to, like, the rest of it. Yeah. So, Sam, uh, now he's, like, Now he's, like, in book. his room with, like, the girl and, like, yeah. the kid. And, and then he, like, finds out, like, this shit about uh, the dragon glass okay, and that where was, it's at. That was dumbass cheesy, too. So, that's what I'm he's saying, He's, like, on though. one page. And he's like, I'm reading. And he's like, okay. He's like, oh, yeah. Like, he's like, I'm so here. sleepy. I'm so tired. And then, like, what's her face? Gilly or whatever. Yeah. She's like, here, like, there's another thing. And. He's like, flip one page. He's like, oh, interesting. Flip third page. He's like, <gasps> yeah, it's like, zoom in. And she's like, what? <laughs> He's like, a map. <laughs> it's like a treasure map, like a dumbass Dora the Explorer, like fucking treasure map. He's like, it is here. <laughs> she's like, is that dragon glass? He goes, it's all in this section. I'm like, I look at Jay, like, I'm like, what then, is going on? Like, and then it's like, I, get I it. must write this to Jon yeah. Snow. Like, okay. He's like, I must tell Jon Snow immediately. And then he starts like grabbing his pen and he's like writing a note. I'm like, oh, this is dumb. Why AF. is this happening? It's so random. It's so, okay, like, I, I understood you're going to send a raven. Like, you don't have to write it right now. <laughs> like, first, like, process the information or like, draw him a map or something. Yeah. Like, like, since when do you have to like, put in dialogue saying that you're going to send a raven and then write the letter and then you cut and, to like, the next scene? And like, just like the way it was on the map like it was just so it just extra. all fell so perfectly i think yeah. like i think i could have like i could have just had had him just like even knowing that piece of information and yeah. being like oh, by the way i sent this thing to john like he should get it so you know like that yeah, like like even that whole thing of him breaking into the cell so to get weird. that book was dumb yeah like, it was so unnecessary. and there's guys there's like a million books like like the one book this guy pulls out secretly at night is the one with that treasure exactly. map yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> like what are the odds yeah it it, it got really it got really expositional. Yeah. It, you can tell that they're really, like, pushing, like, they're, like, speeding up that they're shit. They're speeding it up time. 100. And it's, like, not necessary. And so then it cuts to, like, another, like, Sam scene where he's, like, picking up people's, like, old Ooh, food. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I guess, people who have been touched by, like, the dragon scale or the gray scale. No, I think it's just sick people in general. Okay. Because being a maester is also about healing people. So I think because okay. they're in that in that like building, right? They have to heal them, so they have to know how to heal them, right? Uh huh. So I think that's what I think that's why I was saying like, what like where is he like, like in a prison or something? On? Yeah, yeah. But it makes sense because maesters are like they learn to heal. Oh, okay. So he's practicing on all the patients, I guess. I see. So then he passes by like that last door. Yeah. 
and somebody like reaches out to him. Yeah, like you knew something was about to like come through. And he's and it's like someone with grayscale. Yeah. And he's like he's like, Daenerys. He's like, is the woman here yet? And he's like, I don't know. He's, he's like, like what are you talking about hope? <laughs> and then like you kind of put two and two together and you realize that it's like Sir Jora. Um, and his yeah, hands. as soon as you saw his scale, I'm like, oh my god, it's him. His voice. Yeah, and his voice, yeah. for sure. And so, like, he's been sitting in there, he's been like, sitting waiting in there, working. Which is kind of upsetting, because wasn't he supposed to find a cure? Yeah, nope, he didn't find no she cure, was like, sure. She was like, you go find a cure. He's like, I got this, girl. And, and then I was, like, sitting in a dark room, like, just crying. like <laughs> Eating food. Like, like, what happened to you, asking man? Asking every person that passes Unless by. Unless he went there. there, and he was like, guys, I need help. Like, please, like, find a cure for me, you know? Well, yeah, I can imagine them, like, But saying, why is he, like, like locked away? <laughs> Because he doesn't want to like touch true, anybody else. True, true. I have no idea. True, yeah, he can't. So then it cuts to the final scene. Like this episode, like went by really quick, dude. Like it's uh, the end of our like podcast, pretty much. And so essentially, it cuts to Danny, which is this is probably the best part of the entire the episode. entire episode. Like, like why can't you like lead with that this episode so I can stay interested for the rest of the episode? So it, it I'm shows glad they her. did her though in this yeah, episode yeah. for sure. It shows her in a perfectly like a uh, curled wig like very beautiful black outfit black outfit like nice little like tight curls on her on her hair the exact moment cersei and her switched outfits at the same time yeah it's like true. they like they dipped from the colors and they like went to flip. black yeah it's true and so uh she's coming through she lands at dragonstone it's like this beautiful scenery of her like finally like touching the soil and she's oh, so it was happy it was and like really the beautiful. music's really powerful and then it's, like, all these, like, doors, 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 doors. And then finally, like, the final door opens. It's so amazing. I think what's so amazing, too, the history of the show and the way, even, like, that the fact that there's a map of, like, the whole Westeros, like, mm-hmm. area. Then there's also a, a specific place where her family was, like, kind of, like, that's their castle yeah. is Dragonstone. Yeah. It's on the coast. It's the first place that she hit, went to when she came over to this part of the world. Right. Like, it just means so much. Even as a viewer. It means a lot. It like, does. It's amazing. It, like, it this a, place had, like, dragons carved into, yeah. like, the, the mountains. And, yeah. like... It was 100% it really the most powerful. Lot. Like, it's not just, like, she landed, she landed at Winterfell and, like, she's here now. Like, she went into her home. Yeah, exactly. Because like, I think she had seen it. She'd probably seen, like, even that... Because she, she goes to, like... I think they left when she was she, a baby. Yeah. Before she, like, sits down, even on the throne... Yeah, she didn't even sit down. She goes to, like, the back that's area... That's my favorite part. ...where there's, like, the war zone or whatever. See, that's, like, that's the difference, right? I'm trying to think in my head. I know they're going to end off with Khaleesi's story. I know that. I know they're going to get to Dragonstone. I know that. Are they going to end off with her sitting in the chair and then it's going to cut to black? Right. But what's so freaking amazing about this girl and how they do her story is that she walked, they open the gates for her and it's deserted. Like the entire Dragonstone is everyone deserted. Everyone dipped Stannis' I'm looking team, at Jilak, right? I'm like, wait, I guess everyone like just dipped. Like yeah. Stannis just took everyone, everyone with him left, or they yeah. all left. And it's quiet and it's like there's leaves everywhere. Like it's deserted. It yeah, hasn't been like yeah. touched in a few months or whatever. And then she walks into the throne room. It's mm-hmm. beautiful, but it's like like eerie too. But this girl doesn't even go to the throne. She like she turns. turns and goes to the back room where like all like that like the war the battle stuff like takes place yeah. and she's like let's get started like let's do this yeah is that how what she ends it off with like yeah shall she's we begin like, or shall we like begin that? like it, like amazing goosebump moment amazing for sure. goosebump yeah. moment like she could have sat on the chair and been like come on let's do this. no but it was like no we got work to do still like yeah. before i sit my ass down i got work to do exactly she's it not gonna like sick. even bother like saying yeah. that i'm like worthy of the seat right now yes like, let's exactly. put some work in exactly you're totally right yeah i love that and that kind of ended the entire episode so yeah let's talk about like the shitty parts of it i think we kind of went through we kind of went it. through it and like it was just like it just felt weird because i i always off. hold game of thrones to such a high standard and we always say it it's true like it never gets cheesy yeah. it's the perfect amount of like the timing is always yeah. on point this was like um i don't know i was like guys what is going on right now yeah we missed a lot of the clegane storyline which was really cheesy too i'm sorry yeah like i get true. his storyline oh. And he, you know, his storyline is part of the Lord of the Light and all that stuff. And yeah. Then, you know, he, he's he's dealing with a lot of the trauma that I think he he caused people, people in the past, yeah. like him going back to the house. He murdered the dad and the daughter, and like he built a grave for them. Like I get that. So to like, it's cute. Redeem himself. But like again, like fifteen minutes on him is like why? a little too much. Like why? But also, um, the Lord of Light like showed him in the flames, like the 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 premonitions of the wall and stuff too. Right. So. Right. But. 
But like we he's all, a wild card too. I don't know what's gonna happen with yeah, the storyline. I really don't. I have no idea. I mean, I think at one point, like at some point in time, I'd like to see him like go after his brother. Like I think that needs true. to be like that would be the, like the, end, the apex eh? for yeah, him. Yeah, you're like, right. He needs to go back to King's Landing. Yeah, and he needs That's to true. like fight the mountain. Um, but I don't know what that means necessarily. Like for right now. Yeah. I love that he's and they said it too in that scene. Like, I guess the seeds are really special. And like sometimes when they say it, they're like. Like, how ironic that you're, like, believing in the Lord of Light and the Lord of, like, fire. And yeah. you're so afraid of fire. Yeah, it's like, true. Like, now you're, like, believing in it. It's, like, some, like, like, like really twisted, yeah. like, so I, sign. I, I really have hope for him. I really feel like his storyline's going to be, like, one of the most beautiful endings, probably. probably. I feel like he's going to die, but, like, it'll be in the, the most, like, like amazing nice way. way. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited for that. But I'm just, like... I don't know. I just want, like, the bigger things to, like, come through. and like... I feel like there are a lot of, like, they... I mean, it's the first episode of the season. So, like, I get it. They're, like, doing a lot. They're, like, want to, like, show where everybody is. I get it. But at the same time, it's just, like, it's not... It was, what well, like, it you, was too you much, said I filler. It was definitely, like, a, a, a setup and, a, like, a filler. It's totally. Like, definitely setting totally. up. But um, what do you think about Arya and, like, you know, with Cersei? Like, do you see Arya going straight to King's Landing right now? Uh, well, she's a, she's a kind of well on her way there. Right? Yeah. Like she's passed. She passed Winterfell. She Did didn't she? even stop. I don't think. Oh. So I don't think she's gonna stay. I think she's just gonna keep going forward. Um, I don't know what it is. And I like. I and I don't know but like what it means. For she her. doesn't know that Sansa and Jon are at Winterfell right now. I don't think so. So until she hears that. Because I almost felt like they were gonna say it in that moment yeah, by the fire. They were gonna yeah. be like, "Oh, did you hear like Sansa's like bad? Like you yeah. know like." Like, I think that's, like, the big moment that we're all, like, hoping for for this season is, like, a stark reunion for, like, all the kids that are still mm-hmm. alive, including Bran. Like, I want to see I them all Because I found it in interesting in that moment by the fire, one of the guys was like, oh, my wife's pregnant, like, whatever. And she was like, oh, is it a boy or a girl? He's like, I don't know, whatever. And he's like, but I want a girl. And she goes, why would, why would you want a girl? And yeah. he's like, because, like, girls, like, take care of their fathers, like, yeah. until, like, when they're older. Like, guys just, like, go off and fight. Another war, And then it yeah. cuts her face. Yeah. And it was almost like this, like, um, like this moment of realization. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? So like, true. Yeah. I, I felt that, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, totally. I'm like, I felt I'm the like same. Is, are they gonna say something? And then she's gonna be like, I gotta go back and find my family, or like, yeah. or like, kind of go back to my roots. Like, what am I doing with this like revenge plot? Like, That's true. That's true. Like, something needs to stop her. Ed Sheeran, stop her. Oh god, my that hurts <laughs> my stomach. Honestly, like. <laughs> Here I'm trying to like like deal with this girl storyline and this idiot's like in my frame with his red hair. Like exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like it was so hard. It was so, so stupid. distracting. It was it's just so very stupid. Distracting. But that moment was really special. Like definitely, yeah. like her face was like true. It's what am true. I doing? I'm glad that you booked that because like I was gonna talk about yeah. it too. Like it was very very big. Like to see her face and her like kind of make this realization. Because yeah. like, I get it. I, do- I definitely do want to see her get revenge. Yeah. But I also want to see her more be with her family. She's lost herself, right? Yeah. Like, I think that like even her like even the guy saying like oh I'll like daughters take care of their father she like you look at this character Arya, who lo- washed her dad's head get chopped but off also had she to run away. Dad anymore. like that's what i mean like there are all these things that she's seen and experienced that are not what a little girl would do for their True. father so she's kind of stuck in this place where she's like where am i who am i yeah. anymore um you know like so it's I'd like to, see, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I definitely would like to see a reunion. I just don't know if it's going to happen. No, it and has like, to happen. <laughs> you're like, no, it has to happen. happen. It has to. One like, time. Just One time wise. it has to happen. Yeah. Even if it's like, just, just to say goodbye to Like, just imagine Sansa seeing her. It's you know true. what I mean? You can't, you waited four seasons, to yeah. five seasons or whatever to do that moment as a yeah. writer or like whatever. Like, yeah. you got to do that scene. Yeah. I really think and I hope that like George R. 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 Martin like has, n- has, done away with all those like shocker like murders you know like in the storyline i feel like we all kind of know what's gonna happen next i just want them to like get there now so i don't want like this to be this like surprise moment where like randomly peter baelish is like the one that kills Arya because it's like a shocker no moment. no like no, it doesn't make any point. sense yeah, yeah, you know what i mean like I, people can make mistakes i think like i think john's gonna make something i feel like john's gonna make a big mistake somewhere along the line i feel like he's made a lot of mistakes he's already, already made a lot definitely he's made a like lot. like i'm looking at him and even like sansa's like they respect you and stuff and like you're a good leader i'm like but is he though like because if it wasn't for you he would have been dead in that battle with Ramsay. exactly like so is he exactly like so i don't know what he's good at like i don't even believe that like <laughs> what, what is he good, good at? at like it's true so the only thing you're gonna be good at is like finding your like long lost cousin yeah i think and, his, like, i think his next journey 
is gonna be going up to Dragonstone and being like, "Hey, Khaleesi, you got some stuff under your like land. Let's dig up this thing." Yeah, and I'm like, sorry. And maybe about, that's gonna like, like derail yeah. Khaleesi for a little bit too, True. and focus maybe on that instead of going to Cersei right away. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's there's like really really two battles: the North and the South right now. It's like, true. It's true. And Dragonstone's kind of in the middle. No, they're on south, the coast. right? They're, they're south, like, but like on the coast. Yeah, and they're like more south of King's Landing, right? No, I think they're in the middle of the north and King's Landing. Oh, but in on the coast. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I need to look at my map again. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to like expect from anybody else. Like, is there any other predictions that you think? Like Dorne, I guess is gonna come through at some point. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because don't forget, Dorne right now is with um the like Tyrells. Tyrells. Yeah, yeah. and Tyrell. I don't underestimate that grandma. There's a reason why that grandma's still alive. Yeah, like, it's true. She's got some plans. Um, I so, can definitely see her like try to like just self destruct. Like and just same be, like, with jo- same yeah. with Jora. I really do feel like there's something with this grayscale, mm-hmm. whether it's like the potion that like heals him or like it's something that happens to him when he fully transitions. Like yeah. I don't know, but I feel like that grayscale is gonna <laughs> be like something or else they wouldn't have like brought it they wouldn't have brought brought into the storyline you know what i mean yeah i i really want to see like we know that there's this is like 13 more episodes to go or the only reason sorry is that is that somehow sam's gonna ask more questions to jorah and they're gonna sam's gonna be like yeah yeah she isn't here and then jorah's gonna take me to her and like then sam will and jorah will go back to dragonstone and like meet up with khaleesi do you know what i mean mm. so then at least sam will have like a friend to show khaleesi like i like helped your boy like come right. through. i don't think i you know what I mean? like just yeah. like connection maybe, maybe some sort of connection yeah i don't know if sam's gonna like leave the citadel but i think that he's gonna like give jorah the information and then like to go and like go tell him oh something. maybe maybe yeah. he's gonna heal himself maybe he's gonna find someone in some like random like restricted book like we yeah. don't know we don't know like what's going on with this grace yeah. situation either so like yeah, I like I forget that there's so. Also, many... like, where's the place that Jorah got bitten again? What was that place called? Uh, like that's not Dragonstone. No, it's like Old Valyria. Old Valyria. I feel yeah. like something is there too. Yeah. Well, I... you said that like maybe there was like Dragonstone there, but yeah, like it's all yeah. just like people with grayscale, like running around. Yeah, but there has to be something with that too. Yeah. And that's where I think the that's where originally the the Targaryens were from. Yeah. That's oh, where, like, Valyria. And yeah. then, like, the, like, mountain, like, exploded exactly. or whatever. Exactly. So, and, like, killed everybody. I feel like a lot of more of the history is going to come through. It's and true. I'm excited for that, too, right? The Targaryens, like, are, like, an amazing, like, ancient yeah. family in that history. And you're absolutely right. Like, seeing seeing Khaleesi at Dragonstone, I never noticed all those details. Yeah. Maybe they never showed it, that. it was darker, too. It, it was, was darker. darker. Yeah, they yeah. were, like, clouded a little bit more. They were more focused on, like, the Lord of the Light when, like, yeah, Stannis exactly, was ruling. Really. yeah. So, like, seeing, like, the dragon on the wall, seeing the dragon, like, on the totem poles, like, seeing all this, like, dragon kind of theme stuff, like, realizing that it was where the Targaryens are from, and, like, these are their her colors and shit like that. It was, like, really cool to see that finally. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot. There's still so much to, like, uncover, I think. And they only don't, they don't have much time left, which is why I thought this episode was so waste. I just wanted them to explain to me why only seven like yeah do you know what i mean like like why not just do the three more three more episodes yeah like why did you guys feel like oh no we had to keep it at seven I, Is, yeah, and that's I what i mean know. like i do feel like there's some truth to that rumor of like i feel like the later episodes might be an hour and 20 minutes or like an hour and sure. 30 minutes there's no other reason why would not you just do 10 then yeah, like come on episodes. you can you stretch it over three episodes not a big deal yeah exactly so i feel like and yeah, honestly this I episode want, was like full out yeah waste. it like, was I, dragged I, on like it could have all been done in 15 minutes of like the next episode do yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. they just set it up and like they didn't want to like they wanted to end it with yes exactly. danny like coming and being like let's begin yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm like but you could have done that in the first up like yeah. first 10 minutes yeah and, like done all those things in the first 10 minutes yeah because everything was dragged out. Like, yeah. literally, like, looking through my list of things, I was like, there's nothing here. Yeah. And, I mean, I obviously forgot, like, the Sandra Cook. But, yeah, it's just, but... it's just, it's it's a good start, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Like, yeah. it's, it was a weird episode, but, like, I'm not, like. Like, I'm, I'm not hating on it. Day. I'm just more like, okay. Yeah. The Ed Sheeran was weird AF. Yeah. For sure. I'm pretty, dis- I'm deaf. Like, I'm sure there's, like, a BuzzFeed article already being yeah, written yeah. right now. About, uh, like, how yeah. annoying that and weird that was. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
So yeah, if you guys have any comments, please predictions, let us, yeah, anything, let, like, us, let know. us know. Join the conversation. We're now in Game of Thrones season, oh, so God, this is, a, this is gonna so take exciting. over the rest of our summertime and our lives and our actually. lives. So uh, yeah, tweet us at recap underscore rewind. And we'll get back to you. Like us, subscribe to and us, listen to us on listen iTunes to podcast. Our yeah. And you YouTube. can find us on YouTube too. Yeah, we're everywhere. Just like uh, Littlefinger. Okay. Oh. See you next Sunday. Okay. Bye.